This time on Weekend Rental, we played Help Hurt Hop. Um, it's a party platform game on PC, founded on itch.io, uh, a great publisher of indie games. And um, I guess it's a one-person developer, and it sounded like they had uh, musical help as well for some of the sound effects, but otherwise just one person. It's a really unique take on an asymmetrical kind of randomized party platforming game. Uh, that I hadn't heard of till whenever I was looking at these itch.io games like the other day. Um, so that's all I knew of it. And I think pretty much everybody else had never heard of it before. Never. No prior knowledge. Not one bit. Nope. Yeah. Um, so dug it up uh, off itch.io just to check out. And um, I think uh, I'm impressed by how well they stuck the concept with it. Um, it's it's an interesting like three role type of game where one person is just a regular platformer trying to get to the objective at the end and uh you know you got a regular platform level that is randomized and um the other two players are either placing blocks to help or hurt you uh, as you're trying to make it through the level um and each role switches every time somebody scores a point and when somebody makes it to the end successfully they earn more points than when somebody prevents um, the other players from making it to the end so it kind of balances out three players really well as you're going back and forth um, and that's kind of the the core of the game what else would we mention about the gameplay i thought it was great it, right at right at first i thought maybe it was uh, a little busy. I thought maybe it was sort of uh, sort of um, stacked against whoever was platforming. But as as we all sort of collectively started to get the hang of it, it was just as fun to watch that development happen as it was to, to play the game, I thought. It's great. Yeah, it does a good job of sorting out roles and making them have like the tools that they need to not feel like, you know, a non-player. Every, every role and tool set is pretty unique and robust enough to hold your attention for the round. Yeah, I felt pretty balanced in terms of like each of the roles. Um, like, like Ed said, it didn't feel like the, you know, the person being the hopper wasn't at like a huge disadvantage. I feel like uh, Hurt always had the upper hand in every round. Like, there's always a, a bunch of traps already set, and even some of your helper blocks actually ended up having traps set on them as well, which was a hilarious little mechanic. But uh, well, this one, you did get some wins with Hop and Help. It's pretty fun to figure out how to navigate that. Like, your, your helper blocks with spikes on them might also get rid of a few blocks. So placing them accordingly was important. It was a it was a fun challenge for whoever was helping, but yes, helping was more challenging than hurting for sure, for certain. Well, it's you know it's already stacked against the hopper. This is a hurt world. Yeah. And the hurt the hurt <laughs> agent is merely acting within the hurt uh, atmosphere. Pain. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hurt pain. planet hurt. Uh, <laughs> A it's, helper and a hopper only get so much. It's really just a uh, like art reflecting reality, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's yeah, only fair. Our, it's a hurt corridor. It ain't easy being green. If you're, <laughs> if you're the if you're the hopper, as the green character. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um. I think. Yeah. I. I. Hmm. I don't know. I felt like it's a challenge, but the fact that you don't have to rush through the level uh, does make it. That was the key. Yeah, it's where it gets nerve wracking, though, right? You're just like, as you're waiting, hurt is just placing blocks, so you want to rush through it. Um, and it's just kind of a natural platformer thing to want to run right through it, uh, which makes for some sad deaths. <laughs> the, 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 but, the yeah. similar game to me would be like Super Meat Boy or something like that, which is something you have to go through fast. So the instinct is to go as fast as possible, and you really have to fight that. That's like part of the challenge. But yeah. if you do it successfully, that's like sort of the key to success. 
Yeah, and the um, controls kind of, they they don't give you as much precision as like some platformer games would. Um, even me playing locally, I like notice it, it takes a little bit uh, after you move the stick for your character to start running that way. And then like once you're running that way, um, your weight wor works against you trying to turn around. Um, I make it to where you need the helper. That yeah, the you hop. need the helper and you need to like think it through, um, which is just challenging when there's so much, there's, that's another thing. Like there's so much stuff on the screen when um, you're the hopper with the cursors and blocks and like all the outlines that mean different things as a, as a block placer. Um, I felt like it was kind of cluttering, but it, yeah, eventually you can see through it. It took a little getting used to, I'll have to admit. I eventually found some kind of enjoy, uh, some joy in the meta of like, if I got close to hurt, they can't place. So yeah. if I sort of chase yeah, like the them as a right. hopper, yeah. So like there's, and or if you're hurt and you just start covering up where the hopper's going with your cursor, things get more confusing <laughs> right <laughs> it's one of those party games where you're sort of being as maniacal as you can to someone yeah. and then a moment later helping them through the <laughs> same course yeah it um reminds me of crawl uh, a lot in that way but it's quicker in the role switches um i feel like Much it keeps quicker. you yeah it keeps yeah. you going back and forth i really like the dynamic of like you as the hopper and helper team you get through this thing they're like oh that was great you did such a good job and then the next one you're hurting you're like all right now get fucked yeah. i hate you <laughs> <laughs> it was a very quick transition between those those two attitudes towards one another yeah there were a few times where even uh you know you get to play hurt a couple of times in a row it's like oh man shit it's time to win <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed yeah, you can in the pocket. See the hurt pathos. You can see what it was like. <laughs> yeah, it's so appealing. Yeah, it's good. All right. Um, well, I think we could switch to a verdict. So, um, let me see. Who is starting us off this time? Mega Man Man. Uh, could you tell us what you thought of Hot Hurt Triple, Kill? Triple H. Triple H, I love that. Triple H, <laughs> yeah, yes. uh, oh, yeah, Mega Man Man, can you can you tell us what you thought of Triple H? Um, I'm gonna say uh, it was worth the three dollars I donated to this wonderful group of a single person, I believe, uh, who made this. It's really, it's a good game. Like we were all saying, good quick action rounds are short, but intensely fun. Uh, hilarious deaths from just trying to rush through and not not quite seeing everything going on uh, don't know how it would quite work out with local player because you have two controllers and a keyboard but staring at a tiny computer monitor just isn't fun with three people uh, but over over Parsec yeah it's great this is a great online game should probably come with some online functionality unless Parsec is fine enough uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to recommend it to everybody I know that plays games, which is outside of this group, maybe two or three other people. All right. Um, next up, let's hear from Momo. Yeah, I thought this was awesome. I really liked it. Um, I think the concept is great. And I can't really think of like a game that would work better on like either mobile with like touch controls or switch or something um i will say i did kind of think the levels could have been bigger i don't know if that would kind of mess up the flow of everything but that was kind of like the thing i kept thinking while playing is that it would be cool if the, if the levels were just a bit bigger but yeah I definitely recommend trying this game and supporting the creator. Um, but what did you think, Filter? Yeah, um, I'll definitely be pulling this one out again, um, and we'll be recommending it to folks as well. You know, it only being on computer might be a hindrance for this to be like as successful as something like Crawl, because that got on consoles, and I think a lot of people played it first there. So 
if this had a console release, I think it'd do really well there. Um, or just for folks that have a computer plugged in their TV, it'd be a good one to throw in the mix. Um, and if you have that set up, I'm guessing you'd probably have a indie party video games playlist. And if I did, I'd slot this right in there. Um, but even as a Parsec game, it's really cool and unique. Uh, I think anybody that knows how to play a platforming game can get some enjoyment out of this. What about you, Neosense? What'd you think of this game? Uh, I, I loved this game. Uh, I, g I gave it a four out of uh, four and a half out of five, and a big recommend to anyone who would ask. You get to do the three things that it says pretty thoroughly, and they each have their own special little feeling, and you can feel yourself kind of fighting against the person in the room, which is exactly how this sort of game should make you feel. Yeah, awesome game. But uh, I was wondering, what do you think, Diamond Time? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like I highly recommend this game. I gave it a four out of five for sure. Pretty high praises for something developed by one person. I didn't know that before uh, before we got into this this discussion segment. Um, throughout the discussion, I feel like I was singing a lot of praises uh, for this game. Those all stand. I guess uh, my critiques would maybe be that um, it does seem like Parsec is sort of the main way to play this with your friends. I, I feel like maybe some optimization there. We, we ran into a little bit of stumbling around trying to get uh, that to work for more than three people. I guess, you know, I, I guess the game is geared towards just three people, but I feel like it's a lot of fun to be passing around between a group of who knows how many, um, you know, involving the audience in it and all that. I don't know. I think that that should be optimized a little bit. Um, I feel like the controls could have been better for the platformer and it could have been a little bit less busy to look at. Uh, to Momo's point, maybe a little bit bigger stages with some open space would have been good, Just, you know, even to give the, 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 the herder something to block. Uh, as far as space is concerned, but uh, yeah, I mean, I really can't, I really can't tear the game apart too much. The guy did such a good job. I've had a lot less fun with a lot of games that I've paid money for. So if you've got any money that you feel like you've wasted on some bad games, maybe give this guy some money. Uh, whoever he is, good game, really good game. Daniel. 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 You did great. Daniel. You nailed it. Great job. Good job, Daniel. Great job, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Uh, woo! <laughs> <laughs>